What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, in our last episode, we had a short episode, finally, for the first time in, like, forever. Yes, we made it all the way, uh, through Route 223, all the way right here to the Victory Road, and to my surprise, yes, there are quite a few more things that we need in a sense of HM moves, and that is the dreaded Rock Climb. So if you guys see one of my Pokemon with a boatload of, uh, HM moves, it's because of this freaking Rock Climb. Yes, I am not happy about this. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of changes. Did I really choose the right starter Pokemon? I don't know. So, what's going to happen is, I'm just going to battle everybody. I'm going to battle everybody, I'm going to assert my authority, and I'm going to be the Pokemon League champion because I can. So, here we are taking on a Noctowl, and there it goes. It fainted, took a pre-growth to level 43, or 47, I should say. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at Poseidon. Look at this. Poseidon has three HM moves, which is ridiculous. And it's all because we had to go through this whole area right here. It, it, it's getting on my nerves, it really is, so, as you guys can see, yes, I'm kicking ass, taking names. Yeah, not too happy about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that experience share, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give it to, let's see, I'm actually going to give this, give this to Gaia, because it's going to, oh wow, it's going to need it. So, let's go right ahead and give that to Gaia the Fierce Knight, give that Shell Bell to Electro Star just in case, and let's go right ahead and start clapping some cheeks. Here we go. Max Repel, yes. Okay, so as you guys can already tell, we need the Rock Life Technique to get through this whole area. It is annoying. Yes, you, 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 you definitely need it, and as for me, you know, I chose the Pokemon that can learn a, like a boatload of uh, HM moves. Yes, I know I went through the wrong area, but who cares? I'm just going to be battling everybody and just making uh, making my name. Yes. And, well, Gaia finally grows to level 41. So, let's go right ahead and give it another battle right here against a Gengar. And here we go. Sego Cut for the win. And here comes Gar Devour. And, well, we're going to be going with Poseidon. We're going to be seeing a lot of Poseidon today. And, well, let's go with Surf Attack. And another waterfall attack. Yes, we're using all the HM moves because, well, it's right there. It's very serviceable, I guess. And here we got the TM41, which is Torment. A very good strategic move for those who are into, what was it called? Uh, not online battling, but uh, uh, what was it called? Competitive play. I've been getting uh, the question, too. Hey, Draven, how come you don't do competitive play? Well... It's the same, it's the same age-old uh, answer that I've been giving everybody. Uh, don't have a lot of time. I really don't. I really don't have a lot of time. I just like doing the walkthroughs. Competitive play is just another thing. I really have to just like... I really have to put my whole, like, my whole life in it. You know, effort and everything. Just to think of a good strategy to to just win games and as of lately I've been looking at some of the, like these these short vids and all that stuff and there are a lot of strategies out there that you know it's like wow I cannot believe that this game has evolved so quickly so you know with me just uh, with me just doing competitive play it's just it's gonna be a little bit difficult just because it's like you really do need you really do need the like you really do need uh, to just sit down and just take a look at every strategy because there's a bunch of abilities a bunch of moves everything and look at that guy is finally growing levels and here comes a magnezone and uh, well let's go continue with Gaia right here so yeah I gotta put my life on hold just for all this and well bam I'd rather leave it to the young to the young people I am considered old my birthday's coming up guys so I'm gonna be even older so just uh, you know just that's just that's, that's just me um, Maybe someday, maybe someday I, I, I will do competitive play or something like that. But don't expect uh, don't expect me to win a lot of a lot of these games because I, I know many of you guys are like itching at the at the at the chance to take on good old Draven in in, uh, in competitive play. And now I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh god. Okay. So let's see what kind of a let's see who needs to sacrifice a good move to get through this whole area. Oh god. Okay. So. Looks like three, four, four of my Pokemon can use. Oh, wow. Poseidon can learn every single move. I am not sacrificing another move, so let's see. Um, buckets. Hmm. Yeah. 
that's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, stop teaching. Let's see, let's go with Rock Smash and well, give it to Togepri. Togepri does have Fly. It has Flamethrower and... Uh, oh, crap, Basket's okay. Yeah, I did not teach it. Uh, let's see. Toothless, come on. You gotta learn something and... Okay. So it looks like Poseidon's gonna be learning all... All the, the HM moves, which is annoying, so... Yeah. I'm sorry, but I will teach it some better moves and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and take away Pluck for the time being. And... Well... I hate doing that. I really do. This is why. This is the reason why HM moves are so overrated. Because, good God, I think uh, I think Nintendo did a good job by taking that away. Now, let's see. Before we do anything with our bike, let's just go right ahead and, t and just find out where, where we're going. So, as you guys can see, we're gonna be going through some boulder areas where there's gonna be some puzzles and all that stuff. I am not going there, but I am going to be challenging anybody and everybody in their mamas. And as you guys can see, we got Mammoth Swine now. My suggestion to you guys is do not do not skip skip on any player right here because you do need to fill up your your Sinnoh decks. And what I mean is like every single Pokemon that you find, like that you look like that goes through this game, this initial game, you need to actually put it in the Pokédex because you know eventually that will be the key for you to actually progress into the next uh, the next well I guess I, I guess the next adventure here. And, uh, well, let's see. I think I screwed up on that one. Let's see. There we go. And, yeah, I think I screwed up on that one. Crap, basket's on a crab school stick. Okay. So, yeah, I screwed up on that one. Anywho, let's see what's over here. That way, you know, let's see. I think... Now, don't call me on this. I should go right here. Turn that on. There you go. Okay, so God, I hate these. I hate these slopes. Okay, so there we go. And let's see. We. Oh, seriously. Anywho, uh, like I was saying, guys. Yeah, I do. I do, do not have time for any of these. These things, man. I. I, I keep on going from uh, su to su subject to subject right here. Anywho, um, let's see. Hmm. How do I get through this? There we go. Okay, so you don't need to boost anything, and you can grab yourself a max elixir, which is great. And crap baskets. Okay, so yeah, we we do need to boost up right here if we want to get out. And that is. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so we have to get in and out because we kind of screwed up on the last boulder right here. And well, let's see. I, again, I really do hate the fact that I had to. I had to give up all four moves just so uh, Poseidon can just get us through this whole area. So, Poseidon, you are the real MVP right now, which is crazy. And, okay, so I gotta really look at this, and it looks like to me... Hmm. It looks like to me, I have to, like, it, it has to be done. I have to push this. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. What if... No, it's not gonna work that way. Okay, so if I go like this... It took me a while to actually realize that, so let's go right ahead, right ahead and do that. Push that back. And... Let's go right ahead and do this. And look at that. Okay, so we're gonna be battling another trainer right here. So let's go right ahead and take care of this business. And as you guys can see, this person has a Clefable. And it is paralyzed. So now it is using a Reflect, and we're gonna go with Guy of the Fierce Knight right here. And because of its Brick Break, breaks, you know, the Reflect. And here comes a Torterra, so let's go straight for Togepri, since it does have the move to mess with this Pokemon. And look at this. Bam. Okay, level 43 Gaia, and well, we're doing some stuff. Okay. So, let's see, what's the other subject that I kind of want to talk about for right now? Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, so check this out, guys. While I was recording, while I was doing some of the, the recording on the last few episodes, yes, I got the chance to to watch, uh, what was it called? Uh, I got the chance to watch Detective Pikachu. Not going to lie, I liked it. I really did like it. Didn't expect the, didn't expect the, for Deadpool to be Pikachu. So, yeah. Tell me, tell me your thoughts on that, on that, you know, particular video and all that stuff. Um, there is a game. Never played the game. I don't think I... Well, 
I could play the game, but I have to buy it, and I don't think... Well, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you can't... I think you can You can buy the physical copy, because if memory serves me correctly, Nintendo... The Nintendo Online Store for 3DS is now officially closed, so yeah. We could do that, I guess. Probably. Comment down below, guys. That way, you know, I can have an extra game in mind if I really wanted to show it to you guys. And, well, we got ourselves a Mod Champ right here. And Mod Champ wants to mess with us right now, so there we go. As many of you guys know, Mod Champ, it is a very, very physically gifted Pokemon, and it just it's going to mess with you. And look at this, you can find yourself a Steelix. Oh, okay. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones right here. Didn't realize that, and you know what? Oh, no, I wanted to capture it. Never mind. Okay. Anyhow, I didn't realize that you can actually capture Steelix right here, so let's go right ahead and put on another Max Repel, and let's GTFO right here. Now, as you guys can see, you do need a Pokemon that surfs, and, well, let's go ahead and take on this guy right here. And, well, here comes a Chimiko, a Chimeko, and there we go. Okay. So here comes Absol, and Absol's going to take these... Uh, Take this, uh, you know, these hands. And here comes Dustnor. Dustnor, as many of you guys already know, is a pretty good <laughs> ghost type Pokemon. And here comes the Crunch Attack. And here we go again. And level 44 guy is kicking some butt, taking some names. And, well, let's go ahead and surf and see where we go right here. Okay, so that's not the place right here. And, well, we're going to be finding ourselves a Float Zell. So let's go right ahead and just beat it. And we get to level 43, which is great. So at this point right here, guys, I know that I'm a little bit... I'm just a bit under-leveled in all that crud. So, yeah, I'm going to try and battle whatever Pokemon keg that crosses our path. And, well, it looks like to me that Meryl or Azumarill is right here. So there we go. And, well, we're going to be getting some items. There we go. Found ourselves a Calcium. Always take your Calcium, guys, especially with the milk. And... There we go. We found ourselves a hard scale. That's going to come in handy for when I have to delete all these uh, HM moves from uh, my Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and switch that Pokemon out. And here comes the Air Cutter, Thunderfang. Now, I, I have gotten another, another question, too, about how I finished my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Now, if you guys remember, I did transfer some of my Pokemon over from Heart Gold or from Pokemon Fire Red and Emerald to what was it called? Um yeah to to my Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. And just before I did any of that stuff guys, I saved a copy of like well I saved the copy of the game before I even traded my Pokemon from both games. Which is great because that means I can go back to it I can go back to those files and actually, you know, redo the whole trade and everything and then transfer uh, transfers over to the Pokemon uh, or to the games, which in turn, that means that I'm going to be doing it right here onto our Pokemon Platinum Walker because there is a uh, there is a place right here where you can actually transfer a Pokemon. It's just we're going to have to wait later on and, well, let's see. We're not going to do that. So let's go right ahead and go with Poseidon right here. Here comes a Dragon's Dance, and uh, let's see, there we go, there we go, okay, so that Poison's going to actually do us good, and Gabite's coming in, so let's go with Toothless, and Dragon Claw right here, so yeah, we're going to be, we're going to do the same thing, and then uh, I guess beat the Elite Four the same way, you know, with uh, our newer Pokemon, and I think, huh, could be wrong, let's see. Crap baskets, okay. So that was an extra I entrance. I might as well get all these items right here while I'm at it. And then, uh, what else? What else? What else? What, what else was I, was I planning for this walkthrough right here? Not just regular old, just beating everything. Now, some of you guys have asked me, uh, am I going to go straight to Pokemon White after this? And the answer is no, not exactly, because, well... There is a game that I still haven't completed, and that is Pokemon White 2. I am, I'm only assuming that, well, I'm only guessing that, yeah, I'm going to, in, in a sense, I will be doing Pokemon White, but then, you know, it's going to be through Pokemon uh, Black and White too. Yeah, just complete that, get that, get another walkthrough out of the way. 
And it looks like to me, Gaia is learning Full Swipe. So this right here is a, restrict, a restrained attack that prevents the foe from fe fainting. The target is left with at least one HP. Yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna learn that because we're, we don't need to capture any Pokemon right now. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and surf and grab this. Okay, so there's nothing right there. So there's two entrances that we can go to. And yeah, okay, so we need to grab baskets. We need to drain this guy of his energy that way. Yeah. So yeah, we need to. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot. And well, look, look at this. Another Steelix. Okay, so pedal dance. And there we go. Okay, so it looks like to me that you can actually capture. Steelix whenever you want. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That is uh, freaking legit. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think we should go down here. Beside in. Damn it. See, this is what happens when you speed this whole thing up right here. So, okay, and here we have the TM59 Dragon Pulse, which is a very spectacular move. And, well, let's go up here and go right here. And yes, we're gonna be getting attacked by another Pokemon. Yeah, let's not do that. And let's go up here. And we're inside the next room or the next area of the Victory Road. Now, I do believe this is the the final part. So what we're gonna do first, guys, is we're gonna be going towards the other area right here. That way we can actually encounter everything. And while well, these flow cells are trying to find me, God dang it! Okay, so damn it. Okay, so let's see. Pedal dance. Time to die. There we go. Okay. First things first, we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here because yeah, that's that that's gonna catch up to me. It always does. But yes. Um, okay, so we're gonna go right here and beat this guy. Get to level 44. Look at that. Okay, so yes, we're doing our work. Due diligence. Due diligence and stuff. So, like I was saying, um, yeah, we, the summer, okay, so the summer is going to be coming up too, guys. Just realize this, that my, my schedule is going to get crazy, but the best part is that I'm definitely going to be having Saturdays free from now on. Like, after this upcoming week, Saturdays will be off, and I will be back to, like, producing a boatload of episodes, and well, look at this, we found ourselves another rare candy. Not bad. Okay. Alrighty. So... Let's go back. So we got two rare candies that can come in, that can come in handy later on. But like I was saying, yes, uh, schedule is going to be back to well, it's going to be back to normal. And hopefully by the time like you know we, we end summer, yes, we're gonna yeah we're gonna be having a, a few more a few more walkers being done right here. Like my my goal is to actually complete Pokemon White two when I when I return to it. And I did check on it, and it was like, wow, I'm at, I'm at an episode... Well, I actually do have five extra episodes that I never I never uploaded, so I'm going to start with those. And then after that, bam, we're going to complete, complete the whole thing. Now, here we found ourselves the Razor Claw. This is an evolutionary item that you can actually give to, I believe, a Sneasel in order, to, in order for it to evolve. And, well, we're going to be battling this guy right here. He's got himself a Porygon Z. This Pokemon is just crazy. It's very, very crazy. So let's go right ahead and surf attack. And this, like I said, wow, crazy. Okay, so Toothless. Let me guess. He's got another elemental move. And no, he's got Psychic. But this Pokemon, like I said, crazy as hell. So let's go with uh, T Togepi right here. And go straight for a Flamethrower attack. And here comes Empoleon. And that kind of sound. Wait, is that the... Okay, so let's go with this guy now. Empo oh, wow. Okay, so that's our Pokemon. Holy crud. <laughs> I was like, why does that sound so familiar? And Electrostar grows to level 46. Jeebus, okay. So, yes. Yeah, we're, we, we got our butts kicked. Anywho, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What was I saying? Yes. This summer, hopefully we'll complete a few more walkthroughs. I know that after the Elite Four here, we still got some, you know, extra stuff to do. As in, like, the, the resort, the extra resort or something like that. I can't remember the name of the resort, but yes, we're going to be doing a lot of the, a lot of the episodes right there. Uh, the final episodes for Team Galactic on what's going, what's been going on with them. And then, what else? Hmm. Shoot, I, could, I, I, don't, I don't know. 
And, yes, these Pokemon are stronger than us. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? It's probably because my... Yeah, I don't have a repel. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. Bound ourselves a Zinc. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and use a repel. Okay. Anywho, uh, talk to this guy right here. He's gonna be like, let me size you up. Aim for the Pokemon League. That's all you should be thinking about. Okay. Alrighty. Anywho. So... Yes, um, let's see, the ep like the walkthroughs that we're going to be doing, hopefully we'll be done with, uh, with the walkthroughs that we still have, um, I do have a, I do have a good idea of what I want to do next after, after this game, and all that stuff, and crap baskets, this isn't the end, okay, so, let's see, right here, strength, and go right here, go right here, and grab this, here we found ourselves a TM79 Dark Pulse, very good move for dark type Pokemon. And well, now I'm gonna have to try to find my way out of here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We should go right here. And there we are. Okay, so I almost messed that up. Okay, so here we are taking on the devil himself. And well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Poseidon right here. Two of our li or two Pokemon we still got that are at least level 44, and Gaia goes to level 46. Here comes another Gabite, and well, I wish I had Earthquake, but let's go with Waterfall. Wow. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we're getting our butts kicked right now, and this Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. So here comes Swablu. Yeah, we need a lot of training for Empoleon because holy buckets. Oh my god. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with another revive. This Pokemon League is going to get very, very tough. And I think I already know how I'm going to break that down once I get there. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch it to Poseidon, Empoleon, and, well, here we are at the very end. Yes! Okay, so I wasted a... <laughs> I wasted, I basically wasted hyper potions and shit. Anywho, uh, here we are in the Pokemon League, and, well, all we need to do now is go use a waterfall. And from there, look at this. Bam! Look at that. Okay, so now, here's the funny thing about this Pokemon League and this whole thing right here. Off to the distance, right here to the side, you can see quite a few things, like, you know, there's some extra land that... You know, you're going to be visiting later on into this walkthrough. And, well, jeez, ah, I can't wait for that. But I kind of want to see something right here, guys, okay? So, like I said early on, you just need to have uh, quite a few Pokemon onto your team or onto your Pokedex in order to, in order to, like, you know, get to the next level or the next, the next series right here. And it looks like to me, let's see, we're still missing a Golem. And don't know where I'm gonna find a golem, but Combi's a evolutionary Pokemon. What else? You got Bronzor's evolutionary, which I think like through here you're gonna be finding something. And then you got Noctel, and wow. Okay, so it looks like to me we're very very close with uh, looking for these Pokemon right here. So off screen, yes, I'm going to be training my Pokemon a lot. I'm going to be training them. We're going to try and get them to the level 50s. There's going to be one trainer in particular that we have to really, really work our magic with. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Pokemon League, and we're going to be breaking it down in episodes of three. Obviously, the first two we're going to be battling, the next two, and then finally, Cynthia herself. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.